I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with yet another order that I placed off of the Auric website. They were doing, I believe it was 20% off during the Black Friday. So I got two more of the Plush Ritual Ceramide Lip Treatments and the sets were sold out, otherwise I would have bought it in the duo. So I just got two individuals. I bought the set and hauled that a couple weeks back. Um, I've been through an entire one of these and I'm almost out of a second one because there isn't a lot of product in here and she is working on refills for these but I just absolutely adore this product like it's one of those uh, like type of products that I just don't feel like I ever want to be without <laughs> I love using it every single night like not only is it a, like a really nourishing amazing like lip treatment product but it has this slightly nude hint to the lips which I love a nude lip and then it also has the most like divine vanilla scent to it that if if this was a perfume I would buy it <laughs> that's how nice it smells so I got two more of these guys again for the sale and I did um, hear that she was working on refills so um, because the packaging is so nice and stuff I probably I say that now but if she doesn't have refills by the time I use all of these up <laughs> I don't know who we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there <laughs> but I don't plan to repurchase any more until she comes out with refills because there isn't a ton of product in these there's only 0.11 ounces of product and if you're like comparing it to something like the Laneige lip sleeping mask those are I think 0.7 so seven of these is just over that 0.7 that you get in a single Laneige if that makes sense but the packaging is really nice the product is divine so um, this is what the packaging looks like right there again 0.11 ounces of product and then these are also made in Italy and then just to show you how cute they are she also came out with two more tinted versions and I almost got the duo set of those two but I was like will you want to reach for those ones as much as you want to reach for the nude one because you like nude lipstick so much so I tried to reason with myself <laughs> and I still want the tinted ones but I, I don't know if I'll get them or not but there's a little like uh, uh, soft deal in here that holds this jade spatula inside and I think that there's a, a quartz one or something with the other tinted ones that's in there but uh, this is the jade one that comes in the lid of this guy and then I'll just show you kind of the, what the product looks like inside here it's just a really beautiful nude like you could wear a nude lip liner and pop this on your lips and it, it does take down if you have a pigmented lip it does turn them a little bit more nude and then it has this really beautiful glossy finish while being super super hydrating so this is a little small obsession that I have with this uh, product from uh, Auric Beauty so again this is the Bare Plush Ritual Ceramide Lip Treatment right there and then also from Oric with the sale I decided to go ahead and get another set of her Viceroy eyelash duo so there are two eyelashes in here one's a little bit lighter version and one's a little bit more dramatic and they're they're like a half lash but for me they're like a full lash so I do end up trimming um, I trim one section off of the lighter version and then two sections off of the like more voluminous version so love the packaging on these two this is my second set I have got the more voluminous version of these on today and they are actually quite similar to the orange code and glam light Michaela lashes that I have hauled numerous times <laughs> that I primarily wear um, especially when I film but I love to wear those like out and every day really I love those eyelashes these are actually quite similar they're very comfortable on the eyes and they just they're just really flattering so I just want to show you guys kind of the packaging again if you haven't seen them very very cool packaging and then too I like the fact that you can like totally reuse this or it's like a travel friendly little case that you can put a couple sets of lashes in and then you know toss it in your makeup bag or whatever so I'll show you guys um I've got the one pair on and I trimmed uh, two sections off of those which are on and then I'll show you how much I trim off of the lighter version because they're still in the compact here so there is the lighter version so these ones are untrimmed and these are the ones that I took one section off of right there to fit my eye kind of how I like them and then I don't have because they're on my eyes I don't have the other ones to compare but I took two sections off of uh, these ones right here but I just really like the eyelashes and I really like the case the whole presentation of Auric as a brand in general I really really like <laughs> so I got another set of the Viceroy from the Velvet Flutter collection eyelashes and these are made in China and then I placed an order on the MAC website they were doing I think it was 30% all of lips so I stocked up on some 
of my favorite lipsticks and then I also got a new one that believe it or not I did not have in my collection and I absolutely love it so it's actually um, myth which is a pretty popular one and has been for quite some time I just didn't have it <laughs> so this is a satin lipstick these are made in Canada and this is actually the lipstick that I have on my lips today and I've got it on with the Too Faced badass lip liner which is just one of my favorite lip liners so I'll just put a little more on again this is the satin finish so it's not quite as shiny as like the cream sheen but still the color is so so pretty it's a nude with a slight uh, pink hint to it I forgot to take my watch off. I gotta take that off for swatching purposes. And then I also got another cream cup. I'll just swatch the one that I have in use uh, for you guys. But this is a more cool tone, like baby pink nude shade that I absolutely love to wear as well. Um, so I got another one of Cream Cup and Cream Cup is a cream sheen finish and then I also got two creme de nudes because it's one of my absolute favorite nude lipsticks and the one that I have that's in my bag that I seen was in my bag that I can't seem to find <laughs> it was like it's only got like this much left in it but I can't find it it's somewhere so I got two more creme de nudes again one of my favorite lipsticks I like to have one in my bag and then also inside of uh, the makeup room here so there is Creme de Nude, and then that one right there is Myth, and there is a Cream Cup right there, and those are from MAC. MAC just makes some of the best lipsticks, and I love too that they've got that vanilla scent to them, and MAC lipsticks last. They last a very, very long time. In terms of shelf life I'm speaking, they just really last a long time, which is great. And they feel comfortable on the lips, especially the cream sheen formula for me. It almost, it's got like a hydrating aspect to it with a slight like glossiness with really pretty colors. So I love, I love MAC lipsticks. Since we're still talking about lipsticks here, I did place another order on the Lisa Eldridge website. I seem to be on a bit of a Lisa Eldridge bender here. <laughs> so I got three more of her lipsticks. I just love those uh, last two that I got. Like I've been wearing them quite a bit. So I wanted to try a couple more shades especially in the uh, lucent finish and it was another one of those deals you buy three items I think you get a free bag and um, this one is the green kind of velvet with the Lisa logo in there and then we'll just show you the packaging again this is a 0.12 ounce uh, magnetic closure tube um, these are made in Italy and this is the box packaging. So I got Kitten Mischief, which is a nude. And I was hoping that this was going to be one of the everyday nude shades from Lisa Eldridge that I would like to wear. And it's it's much deeper. So I left these uh, MAC swatches up so you can kind of compare those shades if you like those uh, tones um, to the Lisa Eldridge ones. You know what? I'm actually going to swatch... Um, Charlotte Tilbury's Kim KW as well, just so that you can really compare... Um, the tones, the lightness and deepness with the Lisa Eldridge because it's really hard to tell online um, just how like the shades on her website are going to be. Some of them have been kind of spot on and some of them have been really off for me but I wanted to get Je uh, Je Ne Sais Quoi I think it was and that one's just been sold out for a really long time. So anyway this one here is Kitten Mischief. This is the packaging. Again it's a magnetic closure and it does have her uh, logo on the bullet there. And this again is her uh, luxuriously lucent formula, which is my favorite that I've tried from the brand in terms of her uh, lipsticks. So you can see in comparison to those four um, MAC lipsticks there that I just will wear a ton and have worn a ton, just how much deeper Kit and Mischief is. Um, beautiful formula, obviously. I bought in several now <laughs> and then I got the shade Wonder Wheel which is just a beautiful bright bright coral this is going to be a summer fun one right there so that one is Wonder Wheel it wasn't Je Ne Sais Quoi that I was that's always out of stock it's a different nude one I can't remember off the top of my head because I did get Je Ne Sais Quoi but there's another nude shade in the Lucent formula that's been out of stock for a while that I really want to get. <laughs> anyway, this one is Je Ne Sais Quoi right here. And it's also kind of a corally one, but it's got more red in it compared to Wonder Wheel. So that one is Je Ne Sais Quoi. And I thought kind of around this holiday time here, I was going to wear one of these in my look today, but the eye look was very cool and almost like springy-like. So I felt like 
these sh these shades kind of clash, so I didn't I didn't pick one of these. There's Kitten Mischief, Wonder Wheel, and then that one right there is Je ne sais quoi. And since I have them up, because I again I know it's hard to kind of tell on the Lisa Eldridge website, let me swatch the rest of my Lisa lipsticks too, so you can see them kind of all together. I think that would be helpful. So we've got Rosy Shell right here. This is a luxuriously lucent. And then we have got Go Lightly, which I think is discontinued. It'd be nice if she brings this back kind of in the springtime. It's a stunning, like, bright, um, like, coral shade. So that one's Go Lightly. That's also the luxuriously lucent formula. And then we've got Dance Card, which, again, a luxuriously lucent. Been wearing this guy just an absolute ton. So that one right there is Dance Card. And then the last one I have is one of her Velvet Mattes, and this is Velvet Intrigue. Um, another one that I was hoping was going to be more of a daily wearer that's much, much deeper. So this is Velvet Intrigue right here. Still a beautiful, beautiful shade. They're all very beautiful shades, um, but I'm still, you know, after that um, shade from the Lisa Eldridge range that has, like, you know, those type of tones right there, you can just see how much lighter those four lipsticks are compared to kind of those two nude, sh nude shades that I got from um, Lisa Eldridge. Beautiful lipsticks though, and her Velvet Matte Formula is a very comfortable kind of silicone-based matte lipstick. It looks really pretty on. It's just deeper than, um, you know, like those ones, which I wear all the time. So you can kind of see all the lipsticks that I have right there, and then the MAC lipsticks and the Charlotte Tilbury. Kind of for, for comparisons, because I know a lot of people love, you know, those light nudes as well. And then next up, I placed an order on the Gavisi Beauty website. They were doing buy one, get one free on Black Friday, or it was a little bit before Black Friday, and then I think on Black Friday, they were doing like 50% off the whole website. So I was really intrigued by some of their single shadows that they more recently came out with, because I could tell they were that um, formulation that came out of the PRC that I absolutely love with those really like, kind of a translucent base with beautiful multi-chrome, like, well, I guess they're duochromes. Some of them look a little multi chrome but they have just a really pretty like shine to them. Um, so I got six of them and they are exactly that so they come in a little sleeve and a little box right here so these here let me see how much product is in each one 0 0.07 ounces of product and then it says on the box packaging yet yeah, they are made in China so it is that really beautiful formulation so I've got six of them here I've got them just in this little magnetic palette right here so I'll grab one by one and swatch them for you guys and they're just beautiful I wish that I had all of them in this range to be honest but um they're not I have shades similar to these in other palettes in this very similar formulation so I don't need to do that <laughs> so anyway this first one is Bellini right here Again, that one is Bellini, right there. Look at that shine, right? Stunning. And then we have got the shade Tokyo, right here. Stunning. So that one is the shade Tokyo. This one is the shade Mamacita. a little more that one is mamacita this one right here is lavish one of my favorites this one is lavish and then we have bouquet Another fave. I love those, you know, those purpley, browny, blue, duochromy shades, right? So this one is Bouquet, right there. And then the last one is Charming. Let me grab a little bit more of that gray. So there is Charming right there. They just have such a beautiful shine to them. I love wearing these type of shades on the lid. 
with like matte up to the brow bone. Another newer product from Gavisi is the Eye Candy Technochrome Flakes. So kind of a play on the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. And I actually, I actually like these better. I find that they're much easier to work with and that the particles or the flakes, if you will, are a little bit more fine. Um, so they don't look so like chunked on. They still have that slightly chunky look and sparkle of a flake to them, but they're not as large as some in the Danessa Myricks Chrome Flakes. And then also these ones do not irritate my eyes. I don't have any fallout with them either, so they stay on really well. So I got four of them and I really love all four of them. I'm contemplating going back and getting some more <laughs> because they're really, really pretty. I've actually got one over the top of an eyeshadow palette that I'll show you in a minute. So that really like beautiful um, flaky looking sparkle that you see on the front portion of my lid there is one of these Eye Candy Technochrome Flakes from Gavisi. And I've got the shade, oh, it is the Eye Candy one that I have on. Yeah, okay, the shade is Eye Candy and these are the Technochrome Flakes. So Eye Candy is the one that I have got on right now and they come in a glass jar. And these are very like multi-dimensional and just so, so pretty. And I found that depending on kind of the shadow that you layer it with, it will kind of play on the multi-chrome aspect of it, if you will. They're just really, really stunning. So again, this is the one that I've got on uh, today. Let's try to swatch this without dumping it all over the floor. It's like a, a gel. Like if I were to think of a texture that it felt similar to, it would be like aloe vera or something. So this one is the eye candy one right here. And I just use like a flat synthetic uh, shadow brush and like pat it over the top of whatever I have on. And they're just really, really pretty. I'm glad that I got them. And <laughs> I was kind of kicking myself wishing that I would have bought them all <laughs> when they were doing the 50% off, but we don't need to be extra, do we? Or do we? <laughs> Um, this next one is oh, such a stunner as well. This is the shade Moon Dazzle right here. Let's get a little bit of Moon Dazzle out of here. So pretty. So this one is Moon Dazzle. And then we've got the shade Sea Glass, which is stunning as well. Here is sea glass. Oh gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. This one is, again, a sea glass right here. Blue and purple and it's like slightly pink. I hope my camera's doing these justice because they're absolutely stunning. And then this last one is crystal ball. So this one is crystal ball. Get a little bit out here. A bit more kind of a gold and a green aspect to that one. So that one is Crystal Ball. I'm really happy with the ones that I got from Gavisi and I find that they're easy to use and very pretty over other eyeshadows. So um, those are the Technochrome Flakes right there from, again, Gavisi Beauty. And lastly from Gavisi, I wanted to try their liquid lipsticks as eyeliners as something that was going to be um, a waterproof version. I really enjoy using certain lips, uh, liquid lipstick formulations as eyeliner. One of my favorites is Menagerie because I can get those like really deep saturated um, hints of, you know, colors that are like a black and blue or a black and purple. And then I can also mix them and kind of play with the tones. And those don't run on me if my eyes start watering. So I'd love to use um, those Menagerie liquid lipsticks. I've tried some others too that work really well, but I wanted to give the Gavisi Beauty ones a shot. So I got two pretty deep shades and the grapeness shade is actually a little bit brighter than I thought. Um, so this might be one that I'll mix with a black liquid lipstick and kind of get that rich, um, deep navy color that will be really pretty. These do stay um, based off of um, on the eyes and on my hands. They stay really well. I have not put these on the lips and I really don't intend to because of the colors and also I'm just not the biggest like solid liquid lipstick fan. Um, and I should mention too, the uh, Technochrome Flakes from Gavisi are made in China and so are the liquid lipsticks. These are the box that they came in. So I got two shades. I got Grapeness, which is the blue one, and I got Unapologetic, which is a deep, rich kind of brick tone. And they take 
a little bit longer than I would like to dry, but when they set down, they're pretty budge proof. So um, this one here is unapologetic right here. You can see even I think from swatching them, so if I put a little pressure on the wand there, it'll kind of, you know, remove some product. So that's where layering this up on the eyes to get them really opaque kind of comes in. But how beautiful of an eyeliner shade is that, right? So that one's unapologetic. And I'm going to have to probably wipe these off as soon as I'm done swatching them because otherwise I'll have to like scrub them off. And then we've got Grapeness, which I'm going to end up mixing with a black just to get a deeper uh, blue shade. It is a really pretty shade of blue though. So that one right there is Grapeness. And those are the items that I got from Gavisi. I've ordered from them several times. Um, I've got a lot of cake liners on. I believe I've got one on as a wing today too, which is a really rich, deep color. And I love to wear my cake liners. I just haven't found something to mix with them to make them waterproof. So it's not something I typically wear in the summertime a ton. Um, I did get this uh, shop or from Shop Miss OA, the AOA Waterproof Eye Makeup Seal. This is great to seal over them, which is an extra step that I'm just not crazy for, but they mix in with a loose shadow really well to create an eyeliner too, so I like that. Um, but they don't mix in with a cake liner. They'll just create a film over the top. They won't actually mix in to the product to get them you know, a pigmented liner look, so they don't work well for that. Um, I just wanna mention that because a lot of people have recommended that to me, and I did get that, and that's kind of how um, I've experienced that product with cake liners. But Gavisi Beauty also makes really beautiful cake liners. I've got several of them. <laughs> really pretty duochrome and multi-chrome uh, cake liners too, which I've worn uh, quite a few times as well, and those are stunning. Also on Black Friday, I placed my first ever order on the Moira Beauty website. Um, I've seen this brand around. Um, I've seen Jen Phelps talk about it, and then also Lauren May Beauty, and I've heard good things about it, and some of their stuff looked really pretty. So when they had, I think it was 30% off on their website, I decided to go ahead and get some products. And then it was like a couple days ago, I watched Lauren May Beauty's video on her haul from Moira, and she got a bunch of the potted shadows. And then I was like kicking myself like, oh, I should have got a bunch of those because they look stunning as well. Anyway, I'll show you the products that I got. Um, I got the Signature Ombre Blush in 04 Morning Sunshine, 0.317 ounces or nine grams of product, which is quite a bit for a blush. And then this guy here is made in China. So this is the box packaging right here. And this blush, like, I can't stop wearing it. I'm not wearing it today, I was trying a new product, but I've worn it almost every single day since I've gotten it. It's got this, just this punchy, punchy, beautiful pink on the cheeks. Um, this is what it looks like, it's an ombre effect. Again, this is 04 Morning Sunshine. And there was this really pretty butterfly and rose embossing, but I've worn it, <laughs> I've worn it so much that it's starting to kind of wear, so you can't see it super, super well, but it looks so pretty when I first got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it sideways, try to get all of them, and then I'll swatch all the shades together, which is kind of how I've been wearing it. Because you can intensify it or you can lighten it by putting your brush on the top portion or the bottom portion. And then here's a swatch of the actual blush. So... Like the texture of it, when I first swatched it, I was like, oh, this feels a little dry and kind of a little bit dusty. Um, but when I put it on, it almost like thinned out and the color was like so airy looking that it looked like my cheek was actually that color and you couldn't hardly detect like powder product on the cheeks and it's just so punchy. So it just looks stunning on. I should have, I should have wore, I should have wore this today. Let me buff it out kind of. So you can see like this, almost like a cheek stain look that it gives. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Like this color, it's stunning on the cheeks. So I've got, <laughs> I think I've got four more of these sitting in my bucket along with some more of the eyeshadow palettes because I also got two of those and they're also very nice. And I think um, with the blush and the palettes and the 30% off, I spent like 35 bucks. What? I got the palettes from this, I think it's the Love Letter series. There were two of them that came out and I got both of them from this one. So I got the Moira A Moment With You Love Letter series palette. Um, so this is the more neutral one and it comes in this envelope with just the prettiest packaging and then also 
Uh, inside the palette, there's a sleeve with a little love note on it. And then there's also a card in here that you can like send to somebody. It's a blank card. Like how cute, right? Like very nice attention to detail. The card also has a little Moira sticker seal so you can, you know, write somebody a love note. It's very, very cute. And there's one of these cards in both of the palettes. So here's the cardboard packaging that the palette comes in. It's got a really nice weight to it. It feels very substantial. And then it's also made in China and there's a total of four, 0 0.04 ounces times 15 eyeshadows that's in here. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's, it's slightly textured um, and there's glitter like not the type of glitter that falls off if you rub your fingers on it either. It's like the glitter's like on there. It's just really cute packaging. It even has a little to and from on there. Like you're gonna like give it away or whatever. And then here is the inside. It's got a mirror and then 15 shades. And these are beautiful. Like the shiny shades are super, super foily and metallic. Um, when I used this one shade Love Stories, I did get a little bit, bit of fallout from glitter throughout the day with that one. So if I go in to use that particular shade again, I'm gonna wanna use something like a little bit of a glitter glue to kind of adhere those really, really fine, fine uh, particles that are in there, but it's a beautiful shade. And the mattes are super pigmented and they blend out well. These here are that type of texture, kind of similar-ish to um, like the Gavisi. Like if you can see that I'm smushing it there. There's the cute little designs in them all that I've, you know, ruined for the most part, but they have a spongier texture. Not all of them are as spongy as that one, um, but they're very, very creamy. So are the mattes. The mattes are like um, really smooth as well. I was just like, I opened these up and I was just like, wow. <laughs> I immediately went onto the website because there's in the same style palette format, there's four other ones. And those are also sitting in my cart. <laughs> oh gosh. And then these next ones. And then these guys. You know, I didn't, I kind of knew, I didn't and I kind of knew a little bit what to expect based off of um, what Lauren May and Jen Phelps had said, but I think that this palette, um, what Jen had said was a, her, uh, her favorite out of them, if I remember correctly. But I'm, I'm pretty impressed with them thus far. And then these last three. I mean, I just feel like, especially for the, the price that I think they were like 14 bucks with the sale, they're just really, really pretty. Very impressed. I... <laughs> I want to get the other four in this format and I also want to get um, more of those blushes and then Lauren May also said the cream blushes were really good like similar to the Tower 28 ones and then I also what else oh I want to get those cream are those potted like press down like type eyeshadows too and then the other palette is I'm falling for you from that same um, love letter series so this is the box packaging it comes like you know an envelope there is a card with the pink tones in there and then a little sleeve inside the palette that's got the little love note on there as well. And then here is the packaging right here. Same kind of substantial cardboard packaging. It has a mirror in there. And then here are your 15 shades. Good range of like mattes from deep to light and then also shimmer shades in there. Both of them are standalone for me. Again, those uh, shimmer or metallic style shades are a little bit... Um, creamy spongy kind of similar to super shock but a little bit more shadow substantial than a super super shock if you will like there there's more i don't know they're a little bit more substantial <laughs> and then these next ones
And then these guys. And then these last three. So there are the swatches right there for the Moira I'm Falling For You Love Letter Series palette. And then I placed an order on Ulta for a couple items. I got this Redken Color Extend Blondage Icy Blonde Color Depositing Mask. Um, I use the shampoo and conditioner from this range to kind of keep the yellow and brassiness out of my hair. I like a really cool tone and I do not mind at all if it tints my hair purple. I I like it. <laughs> um, but I put this on uh, kind of on the center of my roots to try to match up the other portions of my hair to get it a little bit more cool. And typically I use the uh, mask from Pravage, which is, uh, I can't remember the, um, something blonde. It's very, very purple. And that does a really good job of taking away the yellows as well. So I thought I'd give this one a try. And it's very rich, but I felt like the first time that I used it, it didn't quite um, deposit as much like purple to the hair as the Privage one that I have does. Um, but then again, I was like, maybe I just didn't leave it on long enough. So I'll still have to uh, play with this guy, but it also kind of conditions as well, which I like. So I'll give it a whirl. I love Redken products. Again, I use both the shampoo and conditioner from the uh, Color Extend uh, Blonded range. Oh, the Privage is the perfect blonde. That's the range of hair products that I use. And then I also got three more of the e.l.f. Brow Lift applicators. Um, they're pretty inexpensive and they're my favorite, absolute favorite brow product to put on both the e.l.f. soap brow, also kind of comb through the brows, and then also with my newest favorite product, which I also got two more of. <laughs> For whatever reason, I was like, maybe they're like discontinuing this and it kind of freaked me out because this is my favorite like laminating brow product that I've tried and I've tried quite a few thus far and this has been my favorite. So um, this is the L Lottie London Mega Brow. Um, I'll show you guys the one that I have in use but I got two of these guys. There's 0.14 ounces of product in here. Brow Shaping Wax, Instant Laminated Look uh, Mega Brow and these guys right here are made in China. And then let me give you a close up of the brow applicator. So you can use the little spatula end to kind of smash down and shape your hairs like where you want them to like hold at. And then there's a spoolie on the other end. So I like, love to use this with this product here. There's also a baby spoolie inside the box, but like it's, it's hard for, it's hard for me to use something that small, but it is functional. It's got a little spoolie on it. Mine's covered in cat hair because Phoebe got a hold of it. <laughs> Um, but I got three of these. These are my favorite brow applicators and they're like three or four dollars and there's always like some type of Ulta sale coupon or something you can use on them. And then this is that Lottie London um, tinted brow shaping wax. This does come in a clear and I wanted to get the clear as well just to kind of see um, how that one kind of worked. But it's it's been sold out so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But this is how much I've used of this. Um, since the first time I got it and tried it, this has been basically the only thing I've used on my brows. I've used the, the e.l.f. brow soap once since then, which I used a ton of that before I got this. And then I like that Wonder Brow too. Um, but it's this guy. I love this guy. It deposits some color. It holds really well. You can shape it. It doesn't get too like like gooey or it's just a really lovely brow product. And for whatever reason, I was kind of like thinking, what if this becomes hard to find? And I hit pan on it already. So I got two more of them. It's a great like brow product if you like that laminated brow look. And it's got a tint that actually tints the brow hairs which is awesome. And then I also got this free NYX uh, brush. Um, it was like a promotion that they were doing. It's a kind of a synthetic foundation style brush. It also worked good with creams. I got it free for buying a bunch of NYX products. I was really intrigued with kind of how these products looked and these are from that new, the new Avatar something water. <laughs> I'm not like a huge, um, Avatar fan, the graphics and the like, the visuals in that those movies itself look really, really stunning. And I thought this packaging looked pretty too. So I thought I'd give it a try. So I got three pieces from it. Um, this first one, I'm not 100% sure. I kind of based it off of 
um, the swatches that I had seen online and it's kind of an interesting product. It's a cream stick highlighter and it's in the shade Seagrass which looked to be the most unique one. Um, it's got a little bit of detailing on the cap there. And there's a cover on it. This has got uh, 0.3 ounces of product and this one is made in China. So it's almost like a green brown pigment with a very translucent base. So what I'm probably going to do is take like the duochrome like white base flip to green highlighters and then use this as a base for those to get a really high shine like greeny multi-dimensional kind of look to it. Because um, it does, it's not sticky but there's a bit of a, um, a grip to it. So it's gonna layer well with powder highlighters to stick kind of on that top of my cheekbone where it's quite dry. When I swatch it on my hand, it has like a slight cooling effect as well. Um, but it's pretty sheer, you know, it's just a very slight green with that like a brown kind of base to it. Not super saturated. So that is the Seagrass highlighter from the collection. And then I also got the Pandoran Paradise Cheek Palette. Um, neither the Cheek Palette or the Eyeshadow Palette came in like their own boxes. They just had these little stickers, which were not easy to get off. <laughs> they were kind of closing them. But uh, this guy here is made in Taiwan. There are four products that are 0.14 ounces and two that are 0.11 ounces. So here's the packaging again. It's a very lightweight cardboard. It, this one doesn't feel super substantial. That's the top on the cheek palette. And then here, I can't bend, I'm scared I'm gonna like wreck the base so I, I don't wanna bend the cover all the way back. But here are your cheek products. And so I went into this guy with um, a brush and was trying to like pick up the product and I was like, geez, these are really creating hard pen, you know? Then I went into it with my finger and I was like, oh, <laughs> these are creams. <laughs> They're kind of like a putty type of a texture to them. So I went in with what is my favorite cream uh, blush brush and that's the BK Beauty 109. And I just really smooshed it in there and then pounced it on the cheeks. And this is the blush and highlighter that I have on my face. And so upon first like, you know, swatch and you know, trying to figure this out, I was like, ah, I don't know about this, but the way that these look on my cheeks are, I just think is so, so pretty. They're very thin and not like heavy products, but they deposit like the color and the shine. Cause I've also got this one right here on as a highlighter. Those are the two blush and highlighter products that are on my face today. And it's just very thin but and pretty. So if you can get them to pick up on a brush and then, you know, pounce them on, on the skin, they look really nice. But I do have to really kind of push my brush in there to pick up that product, like really kind of work it in there because they're a little bit of a stiffer kind of putty product. I was really surprised because I, I don't know, I didn't do my research apparently, <laughs> but these are like the putty like this type of product. So you can kind of see. It's like on the tip of my tongue what this formula reminds me of. I just can't get it off the tip of my tongue. <laughs> They're not quite as creamy as uh, ColourPop Super Shock cheek products. They're a little bit more um, stiff than those. It's almost like there's quite a few like silicone type products in them, but they deposit color and it's just very, very thin and quite seamless. Like, if you didn't know any better that your your cheek was that bright of a pink, you'd think it was, you know, just your skin, because that's how well it meshes into the skin, if that makes any sense. And then these two highlighters, which are also that putty style situation. I was going to layer the highlighter. Um... But then I was like, no, just use that. And I had to build it up pretty good. Um, I think I used a refer or a BK brush with that as well. And that is the highlighter that I have on my cheeks. And I feel like it adhered to my cheeks with a brush really nicely. And it looks pretty like that. So just kind of an interesting one, this one. So that's the Pandora Paradise um, cheek palette from NYX um, right there. And again, I mean... I don't know, I think my cheeks just look really like pretty. I feel kind of more spring-like today because of the makeup products, but. And then I also got the color palette is what they're calling it. So this is the color palette. 
<laughs> must just be the Avatar color palette. There's like an A right there, and this is a color palette. And then I'm trying to see, it's really hard because it's like blue on blue writing. Um, eyeshadow is 4 times 0.01 ounce, so that must be the little tiny guys. 11 times 0.02 ounces, and then pressed pigment, there are 9 of those at 0.02 ounces. So, um, amount per pan isn't a lot across like any of them according to what I just saw right there. And then um, this guy here is also made in China. So again, lightweight cardboard packaging, no box, and then it had those stickers. I obviously missed the bottom ones on this guy. That's what the box looks like. And this is actually the palette that I've got on my eyes today. And well, when I was working with it, it was fine. There was a little bit of fallout and stuff. I was underwhelmed with some of the shimmer shades. And it wasn't until I put that uh, Gavisi Beauty um, flaky product on over the top that I was like, wow, that looks super, super pretty. Like, I really like the look after I put those flakes on. Otherwise, before that, I was a little underwhelmed. <laughs> and I think that... Um, I think that these were kind of expensive too, if memory serves me correctly. I used some Ulta points on them, so uh, I just can't remember the price, but I, I remember seeing the price and thinking, oh, that's kind of expensive. <laughs> I can't like push this all the way back either because I think I'm going to crack the binding. Um, this is going to be really fun for me to try and swatch. <laughs> um, the mattes, they, they were pigmented and they blended pretty well. You know, I wore a lot of those blues. Um, what I got, the blues, uh, this green shade. This one, uh, this guy right here, that one, it's kind of all over the place situation. And this guy up here on the lid as well as that one. And this one, yeah, they're just, some of them are a little bit more flaky than others. We'll just try to go across and hope that I don't miss any with this layout. I did use that shiny teal um, underneath the brow and that pink, those are the only two shades that are kind of highlighty enough for me for like a you know highlight shade. This guy, and then these two. Yeah, so see, you can see those two shades that I use are a little bit underwhelming in terms of the as uh, sparkle aspect, you know. So we're just going to have to try to not mess up here. It is quite a fun, like, color story, though. Very on par, I think, with the whole theming with the, the movie and stuff. And then these bottom ones. And then these guys. And then this very bottom row. I like the cool layout and like the interesting packaging and stuff like that. But something that drives me crazy is the negative like space. Like put something there. <laughs> Just don't leave it blank. <laughs> well, let's watch these right here. So give me one more look here. Those are the swatches right there of the color palette. <laughs> um, an avatar kind of collaboration right there. And again, this is the eyeshadow palette that I have got on my eyes with the Gavisi. And then lastly from Ulta, I did pick up the ColourPop and the Muppets collaboration palette because how could you not? <laughs> it's so, so cute. So this is the, Mu the Muppets Pressed Powder Palette, a total of 0.62 ounces of product in this guy. This is the box packaging, so like you put the palette in and the Muppets kind of show through in this cutout right here. And these uh, ColourPop products are made in the USA. And then here is the actual palette. It is just super, 
<laughs> it's super, super cute. Like, gay in the holiday spirit type of a situation, you know? This one does not have a mirror. And then this one does have three press glitters. Um, I'm not nuts about that. I would have preferred them to be just like metallics, shimmer metallics. But for the glitter aspect of them, they've got quite a bit of substance to them, if you will. So we'll see. I might bust out a glitter glue and try it out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this one, this one, and then this green one are pressed glitters in the palette. So um, no super shocks in this one, but there are those three glitters. And it's a standalone for me too. It's got some lighter mattes in there, some really pretty shiny shades. So you can see there's some base in that glitter there which I've noticed ColourPop is doing with their uh, press glitters a little bit more. So you can see there's a uh, base pink shine inside of that one. Let's do this guy a little bit better too. And this next row. And these do have that larger pan size as well. And then this next row. And then the last row. And then these are also magnetized inside as well. I think it's a very kind of unique, fun color story. I don't, I don't want to, let me put it down. I didn't want to get like my stained fingerprints on that cute <laughs> packaging. <laughs> so there are the swatches right there. And that's everything that I got in that I purchased. And then I also got in a couple PR packages. Um, Good Molecules sent me over their new Sheer Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. It's a 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. So this comes in a squeezy tube and it's a 13.3% zinc oxide product. So typically zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, which are the most frequently used mineral sunscreens, the kind of maybe the only ones I know about, <laughs> are typically very white and have a, you know, really strong like white cast to them. So I was really surprised when I like put some of this on the back of my hand. I have not worn this yet. Um, there are some coconut derivatives in here, which I can be some kind of way about so I'm a little bit nervous about it but this is the type of product especially for how like quick it absorbs into the skin that like throughout the summertime I'll set um like on my stove for when I'm headed out the door I'll put a blob on the back of my hands and whatever like skin on my arms is showing and put sunscreen on there I I prefer kind of a, a mineral sunscreen but I was really impressed with um how no white cast this has so it does come out white it's quite thin as well. Like, it almost just rubs in like a lotion. You don't see that that often from a mineral-based sunscreen, especially one with a 13.3% zinc oxide in it. So that's kind of, kind of impressive in my opinion. And it just like rubs right in. It's not like super slicky or, or it doesn't feel like, at least on the back of my hand, it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. A little bit of tact to it, but um, I, I was really surprised by that. I thought for sure there was going to be quite a bit of white cast to that uh, sunscreen, but I might go ahead and try it on the face because I'd also like to know if it's got some hydration to it. Um, but my skin's been acting stupid. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous that it's got the coconut in there, so I might wait till... It stops acting stupid to try it, but um, that's new from uh, Good Molecules, and these products are made in the U.S. right there. So huge thank you to Good Molecules for sending this guy over. And then Lottie London reached out to me and wanted to send me some PR, and I got this cute little box with a couple items in it. So like huge thank you to Lottie London, loving that brow product, as you guys know. <laughs> so in the box there were four products. There was this glossed, supercharged gloss oil tint and it's like the perfect shade for me too it's like a baby pink so this is the shade drenched 
Um, this is made in China and there's a total of 0.27 ounces of product in here. And I have not worn this yet. It's got this slight, just the slightest bit of a sweet scent to it. And it's kind of like a gloss oil hybrid. Let's put some on here, see how it feels. Cause it kind of matches the lip product that I have on. And since that Mac lipstick's a satin, I'm talking so much, I'm kind of getting that inner rim business. Well, on you guys, it doesn't feel that sticky on. Not at all, actually. It feels bomb like, like a gloss in oil hybrid product. Very comfortable. It looks pretty too. Gosh, they sent me like the perfect shade. <laughs> Let me put some on the back of my hand here. So it's a squeezy tube here. Decent amount of kind of little pigmentation to it. So that guy's the glossed. Uh, supercharged gloss oil tint right there. And then they also sent over this Diamond Balance Illuminating Highlighter. This has got 0.28 ounces of product and this is in the shade Frosted. I believe there are a couple versions of this available as well. And this is made in China. And recently I've been seeing Lottie London products in Walmart, which is kind of exciting because you don't, you don't find Lottie London products at least where I'm at, <laughs> um, anywhere but, you know, like Ulta Online. So this is very kind of similar to the uh, Fenty Diamond Bomb uh, product. It's got a little bit of a squish to it, but it's it's primarily like a white sparkle, at least this shade, with a translucent base. So it's one of those type of things. Um, Makeup by Mario also came out with one in a much, much smaller compact. That's like the same thing. They Like the Fenty um, Diamond Bomb, that Makeup by Mario one, and then this now here, they all have that same similar type of aspect to it. This one here, um, how much product I say was in there? 0.28 ounces. So you're getting a pretty decent amount of product. But it's very translucent and it's got the sparkle in it. So that is the Diamond Balance Illuminating Highlighter right there. It feels very similar to those in terms of like the uh, stiffness of their product, you know, where you push and it squishes, but it's it's packed quite tightly together. Again, much like the Fenty and the Makeup by Mario. And then they also sent over two of these um, double-ended eyeliners. So one is the Stamp Liner, Stamp and Eyeliner Duo a total of 0.04 ounces of product in this guy. Um, this is the butterfly, so I'm assuming that there's a couple other variations of this. And this one here is also made in China. So I was opening up this product, this is the box packaging. I was opening up this uh, package, because my mom delivered it from the mailbox to me, and we were just done feeding horses, so I was like, let's open this up real quick and see what was inside. And so we were I'm showing her, oh my gosh, it's a butterfly. And she's like, here, put one on my face. <laughs> So I stamped a butterfly on her cheek and it looked, it looked super cute. So one end is a liner. Let's check this out. It's a felt tip liner, which typically isn't my favorite, but what I do like to use these for is touching up and crisping up the line or the points on a wing. I use these actually a lot for that type of a stuff. Seems to be pretty inky and black. And then here is the butterfly. It's just a little tiny guy. It's so cute. It's so cute. So that's that guy. And then the other liner is the Stamp Liner Wings Made Easy, which I might actually give this to my mom um, because this is a very, very tame <laughs> winged eyeliner for me, right? But it's one of those ones where you stamp the wing and then it's got the other end with the felt tip where you can kind of touch it up and shape it a little bit more how you want. Maybe I'll just give it a whirl. Um, I'm so used of using a liquid liner with a brush. Um, let's see, here's the tip on the liner end, which is much larger than the one on the butterfly. So you can get it fine, or you can push harder and get a thicker line. And then the other side is a wing, so you line it up. I can see myself messing this up on myself. <laughs> and so you put, you're supposed to put it like in the corner, stamp your wing, and then use the other end to kind of tidy up and shape the liner. I've seen these around, I've just never used one before, but now Lottie London has one. And this one's got 0.12 fluid ounces of product and it's also uh, made in China. And a huge thank you to Lottie London for sending over those products. And then lastly, I got a box from ColourPop. Um, they sent me over their It's a Small World collection, which this looks like a fun one. So there's a little card in there. 
um, that says what the products are. So let's get started. So there's the Smooth Sailing Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain Vault. And the packaging on this is really cute. It's got the glitter kind of detailing on there as well. So there are four in here. Each one is 0.21 ounces each. So let's pull them out. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's got that little cute kind of uh, detailing on the lid. And let's start out with the um, lightest one, which is the shade 7 Seaways, which is a nude shade. If I hadn't put that gloss on, I would have put some of this on. But these do leave a stain. I'll show you when I wipe them off um, towards the end what kind of stain that they leave. But that's just a really pretty up my alley type of a nude shade. And that one there is uh, 7 Seaways. And then we have got Smiling Faces, which this one actually has a bit of shimmer running through it. So this one is Smiling Faces. It's like a berry pink. And then we have got the shade Sing Along. It's kind of a fuchsia berry or a fuchsia pink. So that one is Sing Along. And then the last one, which is the deepest and also has a little bit of a shimmer running through it, is the shade Clock Tower right here. Yeah, so actually these shades here, they might be a little bit easier to wear than they originally looked kind of just in the tube there. You know, like kind of like that, uh, what is it, the Clinique Black Honey, kind of, that's kind of what that looks like. So those are the glossy lip stains and I'll just wipe them off here in a minute. And then there's also three uh, blushes, pressed powder blushes that are all in cardboard packaging. These have got 0.21 ounces of product in there as well. Super cute packaging on these guys. So we've got the shade Dancing Darlings. Again, this is a cardboard packaging and they are magnetized inside as well. This one's a really kind of deep red shade, which I like these sheared out on the cheeks to give me that sunburned kind of look. It's a very smooth formulation. You can even see for such a deep color just kind of how smooth that is. So that one is Dancing Darlings right there. And then we've got Happiest Cruise, which is a berry shade. Get a little more of this. So that one right there is Happiest Cruise. And then the last one is Around the World, which is a pretty like warmish baby pink color. To me, I see a bit of warmth in this. Some people think it looks a little bit cool, but I've got some cool tone baby pinks and they pull more blue than this. So this is like a a slightly, well, maybe it's just a neutral baby pink, <laughs> but it's a really pretty shade of pink. So that is around the world right there. So those are the three pressed powder blushes in the collection. And then real quick, let's go ahead and wipe off these lip stains so you guys can see the stain. Oh, you know what? That is something that I appreciate. I got some of these a couple months back and I was really surprised that the stain left behind by these products mimic the actual product in the tube. A lot of the times staining products will leave all the same stain, <laughs> if that makes sense. You can actually see the different tones of the stains in these which again, I appreciate that. There are also two Super Shock highlighters in here. One that's my skin tone and so pretty on the cheeks as a highlighter. I've really been getting into using the Super Shock highlighters. I like them by themselves, but I also love them to amp up um, powder highlighters. Again, that drier part on my cheek, it just, it just really does something special for highlighters. They Highlighters that look really pretty by themselves, but again, I've got drier cheeks, so these help them adhere better. And these are also sparkly, so it just really, again, amps it up. So anyway, there are two Super Shock highlighters in the collection, and one of them is more blush tone shade uh, for me, and then one of them is more of a highlighter shade. I can get away with um, this one as a blush, and that's in the shade uh, Whimsical Ride. And this is one of, these are both the, the tie-dye blushes. This is what the packaging looks like here. I kind of messed mine up already, but. And then the next one is Jubilant Chorus. And this is the packaging again. 
Let's watch this guy. Again, this is Jubilant uh, Chorus right here. So those are the two Super Shock. And then lastly in the collection is the pressed powder palette. So a total 0 0.41 ounces of product in this guy. Very, very cute packaging as well, just like the rest of the collection. It's got the cardboard packaging, and I thought this was kind of fun. They spiced up kind of the, the pans a little bit, made it a little bit more unique. There isn't a mirror in this one right here, and then there's one Super Shock Shadow, which is this shade right here, Dream. And then there's one Pressed Glitter, which is this shade right here, Smile. Let's go ahead and give you some swatches of this guy. These are also magnetized. And then this middle row, this periwinkle purpley color is so pretty. quite whimsical that one gosh I we're just gonna can you guys just skip down <laughs> those um, stains are just so in the way you get a little more of this there <laughs> just ignore that and then this last row here Ooh. So those are the swatches for the It's a Small World pressed powder palette right there. And as always, a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending over their It's a Small World collection. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I kind of feel like this is going to be a long one as well. <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. And I will see you guys later. Bye.